Esther. Um, ideal first date. Fortnite date. I bet the uh, the gamers are rejoicing with me. Video games. Woo. One little problem. I'm trash. I'm trash at Fortnite. I made a video about it. Second, how 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 are you gonna have a Fortnite date? How are you gonna have a Fortnite date? Is it a a Fortnite themed date? Are we are we playing the game? Are we in the same room playing the game? Are we gonna play online in separate locations and meet in the game? I need more information than this. This will not suffice. I don't believe it. Can't be a real suggestion. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. No, that's not my intro anymore. Well, well, well. Back at it again. Excuse my appearance. I'm comfortable. And I know I know what you're thinking. Smooth needs a new hoodie. Well, you're right. Thanks for joining me today on this episode of uh, Catfishing. There are so many fish in the sea. We, we know this. We know this. They are not all created equal. How many of them are catfish? How many of them are just straight up lazy fish? I'm not just talking about what, what they look like on the outside. There are a lot of uh, ugly personalities out there. I have a confession to make. Several weeks ago, I was catfished. We, we didn't actually get to the date, but we, we messaged back and forth for a while. It seemed like it was going great. I felt like they were really getting to know me. I'm still a little heartbroken over it. I don't know if it was a guy or a girl at this point. I don't know if they were here or in India or China, who knows, but I feel like we, we really bonded. We really formed a connection. And now that connection has been severed because I didn't put my credit card information on the website. I need a moment. I felt moved to share this with you guys. Someone out there needs to hear this. Someone someone out there needs to see this. Uh, maybe I can save someone's life. Who, who knows? Let's go fishing. Amelia, 28. A girl. I, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. There's not enough information here. I disagree. This right here tells me everything I need to know. I've seen enough. I don't think she's a catfish. I don't think she's catfishing us. You know what? Okay, what, let's let's do this right. UrbanDictionary.com. Catfish. First, let's begin by defining what a catfish is. A fake or stolen online identity created or used for the purposes of beginning a deceptive relationship. All right. Now, tuck that away. Tuck that away. Let's remember that. I don't get the feeling that she's uh, trying to deceive us. I think she's actually being really honest. I, I appreciate that. She smokes crayons. That It's a nasty, nasty habit. Is it crayons or crayons? Let me know in the comments. Other than that, uh, it don't matter. We're, we're, go we're going left. Taylor Washington. All right, okay, all right. Uh, you know, so far so good. I don't know about this tattoo though. I mean, I don't mind tattoos and sometimes I like them, but... What? All right, here she is uh, holding a, a thing. Okay. She's 24 in Hollywood. All right, uh, studio coordinator, blah, blah, blah. Here she is with another thing. It's, it's, uh, it's something. Not judging. The way to win me over is to treat me like a friend and don't sexualize me. Never. Keep compliments to a minimum. Who doesn't like compliments? Why would you want fewer compliments? But continue with romantic, respectful gestures. 2020. All right, fine. Okay, 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 all right. Ideal first date. You commission a painting from me. I could present it to you upon the start of our date or come over and do the commission over wine and and snacks. Is this is this a date or a business deal? She did the basic bathroom pose. Oh, okay. She's cute, but I, I'm losing a lot of respect the more I look at this. You, you can't be doing this. The messed up thing is I I liked her profile, and on Hinge you don't swipe, but you like you know something in the profile, and I liked one of the pictures. And 
she matched with me. I got excited. I thought I thought I was gonna go somewhere. No, no. Thanks for liking my painting, she says. How how much are, how much are we talking? You know, may, maybe it's affordable. You know, may, maybe it's the it's the price of a standard date. You know, on a normal date, I mean, in my case, maybe between thirty dollars and a hundred dollars. So let's say that I might I might feel generous. No strings attached. I may cover her bill. I may pay for the whole thing every once in a while. That hurts. I already spent all of my uh, YouTube earnings. Um, so, well, let's go ahead and take a look at how much these paintings cost. They can't be that expensive. I mean, look at them. <laughs> okay, three hundred dollars. Good Lord, woman, three hundred dollars. Do you know what I could do with three hundred dollars? I'm not paying $300 for this. I'm not paying $300 for this. I don't know what this is. I can't, it's so abstract. I, you probably don't even know what it is. Does anybody know what this is? I'd rather pay for a banana taped on the wall. I know art is subjective. I know art is in the eye of the beholder, but I ain't beholding this. I ain't gonna behold this. Not for $300. I ain't beholding nothing for $300, $450? You must be out of your mind. $450, that's not a date. That's not a date. That is debt. That is a student loan. That is a car payment. That is funding for a small business. That's practically a down payment on a house. What happened in your childhood that you, you must be charging these outrageous prices? With the way the economy is right now, that we can't be afford, we can't afford to do this. We can't be doing this. No, no. Four hundred fifty dollars. That's a good start on my retirement fund. I can't retire if I go out on a date with you. Commission one of your paintings. I can't. I can't do anything after that. Maybe over some wine and snacks. There ain't gonna be no wine. There ain't there ain't gonna be no no snacks. Four hundred fifty dollars. You you provide the wine and snacks. See, I can't tell if she's. A starving artist? I mean, we gonna be starving. You're still gonna be a starving artist because I can't afford no snacks. What? Let me double check this. That can't be right. No. Four hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't tell if she's trying. If this is a front for an escort service, a clever front. If so, very clever. It's either that, or she's trying really hard to offload her 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 art. Not hard enough, but I wonder why. Let's be real. If I wanted some hotel caliber art, I would go to Ross or TJ Maxx, which I do, and I would get that. $40, $30, $25, not no $200, $300, $450. Where, where, where am I gonna put that? What am I gonna do when I have guests over? Oh. Oh, here is my Taylor Washington original. Nobody's gonna ask about that. Nobody's gonna care. What, what is that doing on your wall? You'll think I, I have a hole in the wall or something. I, I need to cover it up. I would rather display the hole in the wall. That would be art. That would be better art than this. With all of that said, I have a confession to make. I've been holding on to this, uh, this screenshot, uh, this picture for a while. Uh, we matched. A long time ago. I went through my list of matches, and it's probably been about a year, and I looked at her profile again, and guess what? The same paintings are there. You know what that means. Either uh, she gave up, or nobody bought them. I wonder why. I mean, I guess she was honest, you know, so maybe it's not entirely a catfish. She, would, she did admit she's trying to offload some paintings. If the paintings ain't got no drugs in them, or anything interesting, I'm not interested. Hmm, Michelle, the way to win me over is bring me dessert. Okay, sure. Believe it or not, I work out a lot to eat more dessert. All right, um, I mean, dessert is pretty awesome. I, I get it, sure. I go crazy for dessert. Okay, I think we see what Michelle here cares about. When they only talk about one thing, it's kind of hard to get to know a person. This fish seems rather one-dimensional. I, I know what kind of fish you are. The flounder. 
Mm -hmm. Kind of, kind of flat and dull. Kind of dull and one-dimensional. Kind of boring. We're just gonna put that over there. Camilla. All right. Okay. I mean, she looks kind of young, but do you agree or disagree that no? <laughs> Uh, maybe that's a mistake. She's 35, 5'7". I don't even know if I can believe any of this now. She lives in Los, Ang Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Sound it out. Los Angeles. Hmm. Maybe it's not her fault. Let's make sure we're on the same page about sure. Biggest risk I've taken. Yes. Okay. For those of you who do not know, the thing about Hinge is that you don't have to make a bio. You know, they take a they take a lot of the pressure off in creating a profile because you don't have to worry about a bio. All you have to do is enter your truthful information. They already have a lot of prompts that they've made for you and you can just choose and then fill it out with your answer. Pretty simple. Let's make sure we're on the same page about I don't know, kids, drugs, religion, something like that. Uh, but no, no, let's make sure we're on the same page about sure. Do you agree or disagree that? And most people put something silly. Usually it's not very good, but at least it's honest. The, these are just binary answers here. The prompts are pretty straightforward and easy, easy to do. Except she said all of three words here. How, how are we going to get to know each other like this, Camilla? How are we going to have a conversation like this? How, how are we going to talk with three words? I don't need much, but I need a little more than that. And here's the other thing. If you didn't already think that she's basic, you got to look at all these pictures side by side. Uh, let me help you out. You know, take a look. Seeming kind of one-sided to you. Yeah. Yeah, Seem, seeming kind of dull there. No? That's a hard left. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, do that. If you haven't liked the video already, tap that. If you haven't commented down below, say that. If you haven't shared it already, share that. I'll wait. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.